still using bad prompts in chat gpt for excel let me showcase you how we can type a good prompt and how we can design a good prompt so let's get started now we have this product product and price and here also we have product and price i just want to find out price of this product that is pencil by giving the formula or by applying the formula that is vlookup formula so if i don't know how to apply any formula i can simply go to chat gpt and i can search for my query simply we can go to chat gpt now we have the chat gpt screen you can see uh, you can do login and after that you will get this landing page here you can search your query now what is the query okay instead of typing like explain explain we look up see if i will type only the explain we look up i will get the general scenario so instead of typing like this what we can do we can simply use a good prompt how we can type here we can type the full scenario so we can type like this for good prompt so i've already copied that prompt so this prompt we can use explain we look up with data set where i want to find out the price of a product by its name so by using this good prompt you are giving your chat gpt the context that is very important part for chat gpt to get the proper result or correct result so now after this you can even give the data set that you have so simply we can select the data set with the result where i want and now simply we will paste that data set also so you can see we have the image part and even you can find or you can type here one more thing that is also imp very important simply you can type here the cell reference where you want the result so i want the result in c11 cell result i want in c11 cell for vlookup let's see what we will get in this scenario see you will get the price of pencil in cell c11 using vlookup formula so we are getting one formula if i will copy this formula let's apply the same formula in this cell so right now we are not getting the correct result because we need to change the ranges so right now this table array range we need to change even you can define this table array range to get the correct result so we have to give context we have to give example and we have to give proper formatted data set so that we can get the correct result if you are asking any query from chat gpt you can give all these scenarios to get the correct result thank you so much for watching this video if you